Janique here. Welcome to your foam roller session. Of course, you will need a foam roller for today's routine. Sit close to the end of your foam roller and then roll yourself down to make sure that your head all the way to your sacrum have space on the foam roller. So you inhale, your knees are hip distance apart. You look at the ceiling and you feel the center of your body. So from your sacrum, all the way to your navel, all the way to your sternum, all the way to the middle of your head is your center. And then it goes all the way to the crown of the head. So you want to feel balanced and leveled and then your shoulder blades are just spilling, opening around the foam roller. So you can grab your two small weights, I would say go 0.5 or uh, one kilo, just to keep it mild. So you're going to inhale, you're gonna take your right arm behind your head, your left arm down, then you exhale. So remember that you're leaving your shoulder blades wrapped around the, around the foam roller, and then exhale. Deep breath in, and then exhale. Last one, and then exhale. And then you're doing a little bit of helicopter with your arms. You're gonna inhale, right arms go back, left arm down, you circle in opposition, exhale, and you bring both arms up, left side. It's great for your coordination and your focus. Right side down, left arm back. And then we meet in the middle. Left arm down, right arm back. One more each side. So what's great about doing this on the foam roller you give, you give yourself bigger range. So if you don't have good range around your shoulder girdle, you're definitely going to increase it because you're allowing your, your arms to go below or behind your back. One last set. Left side. And then exhale. And now I'm going to choose to use one kilo so to open my chest, arms up towards the ceiling, inhale, open the chest out, exhale. And now you should sense that, you should sense your shoulder blades wrapping towards your foam roller and giving you more range in your chest, and then exhale, close. Deep breath in, keep your tummy supporting your spine as you do that, exhale. Exhale, last one. Exhale, I'm gonna do two more. Inhale, by the way, you can stay with those 0 0.5, but I choose one kilo because I feel it's giving me a little bit more, it give me of a, of a challenge. One last time, and look for the balance with both arms because you're gonna feel like one range is bigger than the other. That's normal, we're human. It happens a lot in the body, but you try to level your strength and the range where both arms can be kind of 99% equal. Last one. And then exhale, close your arms, and then lower your dumbbell down wherever it is, put it on the side. And now you're gonna do, put your arms down on your mat, slide your right leg away from your hip and spine, and then exhale, come back center, left side, inhale. So same thing apply like you were doing with your shoulder. When you get your leg away, you're getting more range in your front of your hip, exhale, and also your spine. Deep breath in, exhale, breathe in left side, so stretch your tummy, stretch your hips, stretch your spine, exhale of course your leg as well, 
and exhale, come in, both knees towards your, uh, each other, close your ankles, close your inner thighs, S small sway, you can't go too big here because you're going to lose your shoulder connection. Let's go tiptoe. Last set. And left. And exhale. Then you're going to stretch your right leg and stretch your left arm away from each other. And then exhale, drag in. Inhale. Elongate your spine, your chest, your psoas, your spine. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. Last set. And exhale, back center. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, sink your sternum down. Deep breath in. Sink your sternum down. Last set. Exhale. Then you're going to place the sole of the feet together and open your pelvis. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. Two more counts. Last one. Exhale, squeeze your abs, close your legs. Then we're going to go one more exercise. You're going to stretch your right leg, lift your left arm behind your head, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to lift your leg and your arm, come back center. And then you're going to inhale, extend. Challenge on your focus, concentration, and coordination. One more time. Squeeze your ab in the middle. Last one. Exhale. And then lower your foot down. Change side. Elongate your left leg. Stretch your right arm. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. Remember, we did the exercise to open the hip, then the abs contract easily. Breathe in. Exhale. Last one. And bend your knee. Lower your foot down. Now we can come off the foam roller. Have a seat, place your foam roller at the back of your ribs, hands at the back of your head. Take a deep inhale, feet or hip distance apart. Roll, eyes at the ceiling, exhale, curl your chin to your chest, lower your bum down. It's great to work on your upper body curl as well, engaging the upper abs. Inhale, exhale. Deep breath in, exhale, exhale, last two, last one, exhale. Then you're going to bring your feet towards each other in a small Pilates V. Okay, so you're going to bring your feet closer to your bum in a frog position. Okay, so now you're going to get a little bit of a quad stretch as well. So your heels are pressed together, Pilates V. You are bringing your foam roller at the bottom of your ribs again. 
elbows are closed, you inhale, you pick your feet and you stretch out and your heels are gonna touch your bum and then you exhale, come in and curl. Inhale, lift your heels, press your toes down, open, exhale. I need to adjust some more. In, ah, such a great squat stretch. Two more. Last one. And then breathe in. Stretch your arms. And then lower your bum down. This one is my favorite because I love to arch. So you inhale, arch your back. Head goes at the back of your mat. Just watch your back. Support yourself in the front. And then exhale, chin to throat, curl in. Inhale, arch the back. And then inhale in. This is great if you want to expand your chest and get more mobility in your thoracic and some of the lumbar spine there apart. Exhale, come in. Last one. And then exhale. Ooh, I actually feel my abs. Ooh, okay. Change of rhythm, sit on your foam roller. Bring your knees, feet are flat. Then you're going to put your right foot on top of your left quad, and you're going to roll your bum. So for now, we're doing both at the same time. So how far do you go? You, I'm going below my sacrum, up to my sit bone, and then above my sacrum, kind of, I'm still on the hip area. I haven't hit the lower back yet. This is what feels comfortable for me. Exhale. Two more time. So just notice that I keep contracting my abdominal because you are supporting yourself, right? Just because you're doing that stretching doesn't mean you're not working your abs. You're always working your abs when you inhale, when you exhale. And I'm a Pilates teacher and you're a Pilates practitioner. You always want to apply this into your uh, workout, this technique. Last one. And then we go sideways a little bit. So now you're on the, I'm on the right glute. Oh, that feels so good. Rock. So you're still there. So that opening that I did with the right leg over the left quad, get into the deep six rotators, into the glute med, outer hip muscles. You know, these parts can get tight too. Exhale. One more time, and then release, we change side. Left, so we move both first. If you get tired of your hands, go on your fingers, or take a break, and then do the other side. So it seems like this one I can get on top of my sit bones, maybe because maybe I'm a little bit more warmed up. All right, one more breath. Contract the abs, and then you go hips, left hip, left bum. Deep breath in. Two more counts. Ow, this one feels a little tight there on the left. And then exhale. And then lower down, bum down. Let's turn and to go on the pelvis, just to give a break on the arm. So we're gonna go elbows down. So you're gonna place your foam ruler in the front of your pelvis. And then your elbows are down. Then you inhale, roll all the way to your knee and back. Inhale, roll. Exhale back. 
Your legs can stay on the mat or they can float off the mat. It's up to you. It's up to you to the intensity of your foam as well. Your foam roller, if it's the one that has a lot of little knobs that makes it a trigger foam roller, it might be a bit painful. One more. And then exhale. And then we go down and go hands, uh, cat position, hands flat, we go on the shin and curl so we are doing the ab work kind of like double leg stretch exhale contract inhale stretch exhale contract so you go all the way to your ankles all the way below your knees now i went on my feet it felt okay but intense on the arms last time and then lower the shins down Good, rotate the shoulders, bring your hands back and stretch your shoulders. You've been using them a lot. Breathe and exhale. Last one. And then exhale. Before I get to the calves, I'm going to do a little bit of rib mobility. So right hand on your foam roller, slide, and then exhale and come back. Deep breath in, lift your left rib cage, slide, and exhale and come back. Breathe. One more. And then exhale. Other side. So I sit like that because it makes it easier. Right arm by the ear, inhale, let the foam roller slide, and then exhale. So not only are you getting a stretch into your left rib cage, you're getting a stretch on the foam roller with your forearm wrist as well. Exhale. In. Squeeze your abs when you come in. Two more times. Last one. And then come in. And then go on your calves now. Should be okay. You've given a break to your arm. You're going to place your right calf on the foam roller. So you inhale. And then you exhale. Oops, let's move it away. Deep breath in. Chest open, shoulder blades together, exhale. Two more counts. Last one. And then exhale, you go on the other side. Be closer to your ankle, chest open, hold yourself up with your abdominal strength, inhale, stretch. Oh, this one is tight. That's going to feel so good once you're done. Your body's going to feel great, open and stretch from your deep fascia all the way to your muscles. Last one. Let's do a couple. It's horrible at counting. And exhale. All right. Cross your ankles. Stretch a little bit. You've been on your arms a lot. Last one. Let's do a little twist. Arms above the head. Inhale. Exhale. Last 
Two more counts. Last one. And relax. Before we get to the extension exercise, like Swan, we're going to lay down and bring the foam roller under your sacrum. Stretch your right leg. So now, some of you might feel discomfort in the lower back. You can put a cushion under your spine if you don't have the enough strength in your abdominal to hold you in that position. Totally fine. Deep inhale, extend your leg. Exhale. Deep inhale. Feel your legs extending from your spine, from your tummy, from your hips. Exhale. Last one. And then exhale. Drag your leg back. Switch side. Inhale. So make sure your hips are level as well. Exhale. Squeeze your abs in. Deep breath in. Exhale. Soften your sternum. Last two. So make sure your navel is into your spine and supporting your back. Exhale, squeeze your abs, and that will decompress your back, open your hips further, open your spine as well. Last breath. And then exhale, drag your knee back, foot back, and your knees on 90 degrees angle. Both feet together. Inhale, twist a little bit to the right side. Exhale, come back center. Inhale, twist a little bit to the left side. Exhale, back center. And now you're going to stretch your right leg again. You're going to inhale. And then exhale, bring the leg up. Inhale, open the hip. Exhale, bring the leg up. Two more times. Last one. And then bend your knees, stretch your left leg down. Deeper inhale, navel to spine, support your back. Open your chest. Exhale. Inhale down. You can flex your foot if you want to. Point. Exhale. Three more counts. Two. Last one. And exhale, open, legs together, bring your knees towards your chest, tummy in. So now you're going to feel your back, your upper back sink a little bit when you put your knees into your chest. Then you lengthen your tummy, lift your legs up towards the ceiling, you're going to do scissors. So right leg goes down, inhale, exhale, inhale. I'm lowering my leg level to the foam roller, exhale. You can go lower, just and remember you want to feel okay on your lumbar spine and you want to be able to access your abdominal. Two more counts. Last one. And we're going to do helicopter. So it's very similar like we did with the arms. So the right goes down, left, right. Then in opposition, you're going to circle and then close together. Then we start left side. Inhale. Exhale. Right leg. Exhale. Left side. Exhale. One last set. Right left, right, open, close, left side, exhale, good, now you do small circle, again, you're not going very low, breathe in, exhale, Two more. 
last one. Exhale, knees bend, lower your feet down, and then lower your foam roller down. Bend your knees towards your chest. Allow your back to flatten on the mat. And then lower your feet down on the foam roller. You are going to get a little bit of feet massage too. So stretch, small, it's not the same, love it. One more time. And then close. Lay down, come up to sitting. Okay, you're ready for your swan extension. We're gonna go on the knees first and then take it all the way to the full extension. So you're gonna stretch your arms out, inhale, and then exhale, come back. Exhale. Keep your bum onto your heels. Exhale. Two more. Last one. Exhale. All right, lay down onto your tummy, full extension. Arms straight, forehead down. Legs straight, inhale. Lengthen your spine, open your chest. Exhale, lengthen your legs away from your spine, from your heart, from your lungs. Deep breath in. Exhale. Lift the air in your lungs, lift your lungs up, lift your spine up. Exhale. Last two. Last breath, inhale. And exhale, lower your head down. Take a child pose, open your knees, sit back on your heels, deep breath in. And then roll up. Take a moment, catch up with your breath. Allow your shoulders to melt on your back. So you have two choices, you can lay down, do a little bit meditation, or you can sit cross-legged cross -legged and do some deep breathing to what feels right for you. This is a great foam roller routine that you can add to have variety uh, during the week when you're doing your workout. It's great because if you are sore, you can use like nice gentle opening of your fascia and your muscle, deep breath in, you're still opening your hips, you're still allowing your muscle to move. If you like this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to share this with your friend. Maybe you can grab a foam roller together and start stretching. Stay consistent, continue your practice. This is how you're gonna feel strong, positive, and mentally strong. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.